Hey guys, Will here with Craze Studio, and in this video we're gonna walk through all the standard assets available inside of Craze Studio Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and start here at the top under Media. Now, Unsplash, Pexels, Pixabay, Giphy, and Cover are all integrated products built right into Craze Studio Pro. You also have access to text-to-speech as well as audio recording. Now, if you wanna search for an image or video, for example, within Unsplash, you can of course search for what you're looking for at the top in the search bar, and then scroll down this little list here and choose what you're looking for, or the better way would be is to click open full gallery, and this will allow you to view your images or video clips in a wide gallery view here, so it's so much easier to see and download and see what you're looking at, right? You can navigate between Unsplash, Pexels, Pixabay, and Giphy by clicking on their names in the top right corner here. This will take you to those galleries for you to utilize. All right, you also have some popular searches here in the left to use to kind of help you with your uh, your search. And then to get out of the screen, you can also just click off in the left here and it will take you back to the Create Studio page. All right, so let's go to My Files. Now in Create Studio Pro, you can import in your own video clips, your own audio tracks, as well as pictures, right? And you can do that by going to My Files and then clicking on Import and they'll be stored right here in your project media. All right, one thing to note is that Inside of Create Studio Pro, they've enabled 20 audio tracks for free to use as a standard asset user. And um, of course, you can still import in your own audio tracks on top of that, but you do have access to 20 audio tracks for standard asset users. All right, so let's go ahead and go to Studio. And inside of Studio is where all the assets for Create Studio Pro are located. All right, so if I start with backgrounds, so standard asset users get access to 50 plus 3D backgrounds, which is really awesome, right? And you can see that you have access to any of the assets as a standard asset user. If you see free in the top right corner, that is what you can use for your projects. And then if you wanna go ahead and use one of these backgrounds, all you gotta do is click on the little download link right there next on the bottom of the picture, and it will download in the background, and then you are free to use that picture for your project. I could drag this in on top of my canvas here, expand it out, and then I could start using that for my project, right? So pretty cool, a lot of cool backgrounds for standard asset users. Um, you can also click on Supreme here, you get Supreme backgrounds, which are more 2D based backgrounds, which is really cool. And then you get some really awesome backgrounds here to use as a standard asset user. And of course, if you become an all access pass member, you get access to every asset available inside of Create Studio Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and go to characters. And for characters, you get access to 15 3D characters and 20 Supreme as a standard asset user. So right now we're looking at the 3D characters. So a lot of cool options here to use for your 3D characters. And then here are your Supreme characters built right in that you can use to create cool animated projects. All right, if we go to effects, you can see that we have fire effects. And if you hover over each one of these, they will play the effect before you drag it into your project. So you can kind of see what you're looking for, see what works for you. We've got smoke effects, um, which are really cool. We've got explosions. And again, if you hover over these guys, they'll play for you electric. And then we've got line elements that we can utilize for your project needs, energy, as well as liquid lines, motion shapes, and then transitions, right? And if you hover over them, you'll see what they do before you drag them into your projects. All right, now we've also got elements, and elements are cool because uh, cursors are available to all users. So if you wanna use some cursors for your projects to point something out for something specific or animate it to, to move towards a certain object, just go ahead and click on that little download icon. And then once it's done, you can drag it onto your uh, canvas there and you're able to manipulate it, resize it, move it around however you want, um, change the direction. And then over here on the right side, you can adjust the properties, replace the media if you want. Maybe you don't want that arrow specific, you can replace something else. And that is, you can, it'll take you to maybe your downloads where you downloaded a file and you can utilize it from there, right? So that is Elements. Um, some really cool stuff and they give you a lot of functionality to use with elements. Um, we've also got hands. So we've got 3D hands as well as 2D hands to use and real hands to choose from as a standard asset user, okay? Um, you've got some cool icons to choose from. So we can go to devices. Um, if you're doing stuff with products, you can utilize these. You got 3D objects, you got bobbleheads, um, you've got illustrations to choose from. We've got isometric images, uh, flat images as well to choose from. There's a lot of options to choose to kind of help with assets for Create Studio Pro. SVG files, 
Um, and then of course, if you're an all access pass user, you get access to all of the elements within Create Studio Pro. All right. So that is the icons. And then we've got access to 30 scroll stoppers, right? So these are really cool because if you hover over them, they will preview with the sounds what they do. And some of these are really cool and they kind of really help enhance um, something on top of your project that you're working on, right? Um, so you kind of hover over them and they will play, right? And then again, if you want to use them, you just click the download icon and then you can use them, drag it into your canvas and then you can um, have access to use it however you see fit for your projects, right? Um, we've also got shapes, right? So if you want to use some animated shapes, kind of preset for you already, you got those available to you. We've got social media elements. So if you're doing stuff for product marketing, things like that, there's a lot of social media animations in here to use um, as a standard asset user. You've got emojis that are animated. It's kind of help reinforce something which are cool to use. And then you also have titles. And so as a standard asset user, you get access to anything with free in it, right? In the top right corner that you can download and utilize. And then of course, all access past users get access to all of the assets within Create Studio Pro. So again, anything with a free icon in the uh, top right corner, for example, that is available to you as a standard asset user. And remember, anything with the crown icon in the top right is uh, you have to be an all access member to utilize, which gives you access to all the assets in Create Studio Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and go into music. So as a, a standard asset user, you get access to a whole bunch of musical uh, songs within Create Studio Pro that will allow you to give uh, life to your to your projects, all right? And again, there's a lot of them. And then if you're an all access user, you get access to a whole lot more, all right? So that's located under music. Um, transitions are available to all standard asset users. So let's say, for example, I want to use uh, this reveal here, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I've, I've already got it downloaded because you can see there's no download link there. Um, but say, for example, I wanted this one, I could click download and then I'm gonna drag it onto my canvas here. So if I play it back, you'll see that it's gonna reveal the background, right? There it goes. And if I click on this transition, it opens up the transition properties and you'll see I can reveal the transition or turn it off, right? And then just press conceal so it'll only play at the end, right? It, it conceals it, it goes away. Um, so it's cool that they give you that option. You can either choose both, right, to reveal and then conceal it at the end or just choose one or the other, right? Or don't use it at all. But at least you have the option to choose how you want to utilize this transition, which is really cool, all right? So that is transitions, um, and those are available um, for standard asset users. And again, you can always preview what those transitions look like by hovering over the clip here, and you can kind of see what that transition does before you drag it into your canvas and start utilizing it, right? Um, you do get access to all the effects um, from green screen to glitch to doodle, Everything inside of the effects is available to standard asset users, as well as the components, which are pre-built animations that are already custom made. So you don't have to sit there and, and make stuff. It's already built in. So you can tweak the camera, use the carousel effect. There's a lot of different pre-built components that you can utilize that will help enhance your projects. All right. So we've also got shapes. So you can click on the shapes icon at the top of the, of the program here, and then you can navigate through and see what type of shapes you want to use. Say, for example, I want to use um, this bell, right? I can click on the bell and then I can have it in my session and then I can manipulate it, move it around, change it however I want it to be. And then I can go over to the right side and I can adjust the color, the opacity, the scale, properties. I can open up and see the position of it. Uh, I can create borders and shadows. There's so many options and advanced features they give you within Create Studio Pro that you can utilize. You can even animate um, your shapes right here within the motion section of Create Studio Pro and you can have it fly in a certain way, um, have it fly out um, and then come in a different way. It's, so it's a lot of flexibility and functionality they give you within Create Studio Pro, all right? So that shapes now with text, you can add some text to it by clicking on the text button, right? And then you can obviously, you can adjust the text here in the text properties from the font to all the properties within it, from the weight, the color, the alignment, format, um, you can also add your own text files by clicking the plus button. If I click the plus guy, I can load in a folder of fonts that I've downloaded uh, outside of Create Studio Pro, or I can load in a specific font individually. Um, but again, the fonts are right located all here and you can scroll through them to check them out. As well as you have access to Google's fonts and then you can download them. And then one cool feature too is this once your fonts are in here, you can heart them 
by clicking on the heart button. And then inside the heart here, you'll see it'll store all your favorites, which is really cool. All right, so a lot of cool features for fonts and text. And then of course, you can always animate your text as well by clicking on the motion and then animating. Um, and there's a lot of flexibility again with text. Um, you can animate any uh, asset within Create Studio Pro. Um, so if I click on Tom, for example, I can go ahead and animate him from here and add him his position, a scale, his fade, his rotation, or I can add keyframe animations by choosing exactly where I want him to go and then clicking animation and then adding keyframes, maybe for his position or scale or his opacity. And say, for example, I click on position, you'll see I've added some keyframes. And then from there, I can set and drag him where I want him to be specifically, um, as opposed to having like Create Studio Pro tell me where, where I want it to go. All right, so a lot of great things inside of Create Studio Pro that you have access to. Um, and as a standard asset user, you can uh, have access to that as well, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the program here, and I'm gonna go to the main Create Studio Pro page here and talk to y'all about templates. So inside of the templates as a standard asset user, you get access to only a handful of free templates, right? So if you see the free icon in the top left corner here of your uh, template here, you can then click on it and it will play the preview of that template. And then you can use this template and download it for whatever project needs you may have, right? And there are a few free ones in here as a standard asset user that you can utilize. But if you want access to all of the templates that Create Studio Pro has to offer, you would need to become a all access member to access all of these amazing templates, right? All right, but as a standard asset user, for example, let's say I go to a new project, I can either create a blank project, but you do get these starting uh, themes right here. So maybe you need a, a starting theme to get help you get started with a project. You can use one of these guys and then say, for example, if I click on, um, let's go with this video ad, it'll download it for me and then it will load in the uh, starting theme for me. So then I can then, add in my own media as I need to, and then get myself started on my own project, right? So really cool stuff within Create Studio Pro, and that is how you can access some free templates as well as some starting themes in Create Studio Pro. All software features are included in this license as well as uh, future software updates. And if you become a uh, all access member in Create Studio Pro, um, you get access to um, all the assets plus new additions, and they're always adding new characters and assets and templates every month via the links inside the software, or you can contact the support team to help you out with that as well. Um, so there's really nothing else like Create Studio on the market. So if you're interested in making um, really cool animations and really cool sequences, Create Studio Pro is the way to go. And so why not give it a shot today?